Since I don't shoot 9mm ammunition that much, there was not a lot on hand. Since I have had good luck with Sig Sauer 230 grain JHP 45 ACP in my 1911, I decided to foot for a box of Sig Sauer 147 grain 9mm JHP for the G45, as well as several Hornady Custom 147 grain XTP cartridges. The Hornady was the hotter of the two defensive loads fired, but both had exceptional accuracy. The trigger is probably the best of any Glock pistol that I have pulled. It simply rolls past through the pole rather than meeting a wall that is common to most Glock pistols. That roll makes for a very consistent trigger pull. And that aids in the accuracy department. My shooting companions that shot the G45 were also impressed by the trigger. The full grip definitely makes a difference, as does the beaver tail grip adapter. The beaver tail rests ever so gently against the top of my hand, and slide bite is one less thing I have to worry about. I have to say that, even though the frame is polymer, this is one of the best feeling pistols I have yet to grip. For me, a longer trigger reach means that I have less movement with my trigger finger. Coupled with a good grip on the handle, the G45 feels like it's part of my hand, and I could tell a difference in my shooting from the first shot taken. The Glock night sights were spot on. Simply place the front dot on what you want to hit, roll the trigger back, and watch that 9mm hole appear at your POA, if you do your part. Felt recoil is mild, as compared to my 1911 in 9mm, even with its all-steel frame, even though the 1911 is the heavier pistol. The G45 is just a joy to shoot with this beaver tail grip, and I find myself not readjusting my grip as often as I do with the 1911. The G45 ran without a hitch, which is really not surprising. The G45 is a Glock, after all. <laughs>